In the ever-evolving economic environment around, it is normal to be confused as a developer. There is now a wide range of exchanges, currencies, financial ecosystems, and more out there. So whether you're just a trader or even a developer looking to implement blockchain in your software, the IOTX ecosystem can be an ideal option. This decentralized platform aims to reduce the uncertainty by allowing people and machines to interact with each other via properly designed economic incentives. In other words, it brings blockchain to Internet of Things and other smart devices via dApps and a range of online transaction capabilities. So in this video, we're going to take a closer look at exactly what IOTX is, how it works, and the potential of its native currency, the IOTX token. So first of all, you might be wondering, what exactly is IOTX? IoT, or the Internet of Things, refers to the billions of physical devices around the world that are now connected to the Internet, all collecting and sharing data simultaneously. Thanks to the arrival of super cheap computer chips and the ubiquity of wireless networks, it's possible to turn anything from something as small as a pill to something as big as an aeroplane into parts of the Internet of Things. Now, connecting up all these different objects and adding sensors to them adds a level of digital intelligence to devices that would be otherwise dumb, enabling them to communicate real-time data without involving any single humans. Now, the Internet of Things is making the fabric of the world around us more smarter and more responsive, merging the digital and physical universes together. Pretty much any physical object can also be transformed into an IoT device if it's connected to the Internet to be controlled or communicate information. For example, a light bulb can be switched on using a smartphone app, and that would be considered an IoT device. If you have a motion sensor or a smart thermostat in your office, that can also be considered an IoT device. Any IoT device can be as fluffy as a child's toy or as serious as an automatic vehicle. Even large objects such as jets can be filled with many smaller IoT components like sensors that collect and transmit data back and forth. You might be wondering, is my computer or my smartphone an IoT device? Well, not really because the term IoT is mainly used for devices that wouldn't usually be generally expected to have an internet connection and that can communicate with a network independently of human action. So while our phones pretty much need internet or a data connection all the time and we have to tell it what to do, IoT things are pretty much the opposite of that. IOTX found Roots as an open source platform dedicated to bringing a range of crypto users together, such as people looking to earn a profit, project developers, service providers, and a range of consumers. By facilitating economics primarily for machines and allowing people a transparent environment to interact with each other on, IOTX became popularized fairly quickly. IOTX now has a team of over 40 researchers and engineers behind it who built this entire EVM compatible or Ethereum virtual machine compatible blockchain from scratch. You will also find Binance Smart Chain and Heco blockchain at the base of IOTX along with Ethereum, hence making it a very versatile and highly compatible platform. Some of the more prominent infrastructures you can benefit from with IOTX include IOPay Wallet, IOTube Bridge, Hermes, and much, much more. The main reason why you will see IOTX being preferred by developers for websites, dApps, dev tools, tokens, integrations, hardware solutions, and even exchanges is the low gas price, ability to enable self-sovereign devices, and security. For example, UCAM is a tracking software that you can use in your household security system and other Internet of Things devices to enhance privacy and personal security at the same time. The idea of the Internet of Things started to become popular by 2009 and by 2019 the number of Internet of Things devices and the number of non-Internet of Things devices were almost equal. In 2020, you may have heard the news of the Internet of Things being the next big thing as the number of IoT connections exceeded non-IoT connections. Now, as you can see on this graph, you can see that the number of IoT devices has actually surpassed non-IoT devices. And even in 2025, you will see that the number of IoT devices will even triple that of non-IoT devices. 
For those of you working with IoT, you may have experienced four core issues with the mass adoption of it. First of all, the scalability. Second of all, a lack of privacy. Third, high operating costs. And four, low functional value. So with these things in mind, IODX was designed to conquer these problems. The blockchain infrastructure provides privacy, it provides scalability, and it provides versatility with its proof-of-stake consensus, while the use of sidechains allow for speed and accuracy. IOTX is headquartered in San Francisco Bay, and it was founded in 2017 by Rollin Chai, Head of Blockchain Strategy, Jing Sun, Head of Operations, Chaven Guo, the co-founder, and Xin Jin Fan, Head of Cryptography. IOTX didn't have an ICO, instead it was funded by a private sale in February of 2018. It managed to raise $15 million in Ethereum, which is roughly 25,000 Ethereum at the time, and managed to bring its token price up to 0.0000125, right from the beginning. People like me and you were given access to the mainnet on April 23rd, 2019. Soon after, it won the CES Innovation Award for Cybersecurity and Personal Privacy. On its journey, IOTX made several partners, joining alliances such as China Mobile IoT Alliance, Blockchain Task Group, Trusted IoT Alliance, and more. Now you may be wondering, what exactly makes IOTX unique? There are several applications. IOTX provides developers a robust, decentralized backbone for self-governing machines and IoT-enabled equipment. This includes smart home devices, security systems, autonomous vehicles, and much, much more. The EVM-compatible blockchain gives them a secure infrastructure to work on, which is itself governed by IOTX, its native coin. Over the years, IOTX has won numerous R&D awards and published a white paper that explains how IOTX is suitable for in-house and IoT innovations. Key elements that set IOTX apart from the competition include, first of all, it gives you the ability to innovate. IOTX has been preferred by many developers over the years because of the freedom it gives you with its code. With every developer adding something new, the members of the IOTX community are growing very rapidly. Second, it already has started powering real-life devices. IOTX is being used in several applications already, the most common ones being Pebble and UCAM. The blockchain is powering security systems and consumer devices, tracking geolocations, and helping residential and commercial consumers in any industry. Third, the IOTX has a very good security. It's considered among the most secure cryptocurrencies out there, proof of which is the fact that it hasn't experienced any scams or malfeasance yet. The primary focus of the network is your privacy and security of transactions. Let's not forget about IOTX's interoperability. Because of the layer design of the IOTX ecosystem, it boasts impeccable interoperability with its blockchains. Because of IOTX's high performance, high skill EVM compatibility, the root chain can also connect with different applications seamlessly, provided you can establish the link between them. Now let's take a closer look at the IOTX token. IOTX token was an ERC20 token initially and was swapped into a native token in the first quarter of 2019. With a maximum market cap of 10 billion IOTX, out of which roughly 9.5 billion are now in circulation, the coin is now mineable under its ticker symbol IOTX for the next 48 years. At the same time, the alpha mainnet also went live. This meant that as soon as the native token went live, it started using the power generated by the IOTX network solely, which is why it isn't as low priced as others. The currency can fuel distributed apps fairly easily because of this and because the token is very energy efficient. First of all, while the IOTX token is secure and uses a consensus mechanism, it doesn't mean there aren't any issues to consider. First of all, despite its uses, it's more beneficial for developers than for the normal user. If you're looking to trade, farm, or stake, there's no doubt that you can find better currencies that actually cater towards those specific things as well. IOTX is also great for Internet of Things applications, perhaps even the best, but it's not so much a financial tool. 
However, this is by design. IODEX is designed specifically to facilitate and empower the new generation of real-world and real-time dApps, NFTs, and digital assets, not just to be used as currency. So what do you think? Is IODEX worth your time as a developer or a consumer? And do you think IODEX has something valuable to offer you? Get in touch with our Telegram channel below and join our group where we can discuss any questions you might have and join in on the conversation with IODEX. As always, guys, stay safe in the DeFi space and have an amazing day.